Heidi and welcome to the Pancake Channel and today we are going to be making a dessert pancake and it is uh, called Chocolate Cake Dessert Pancakes with Peppermints <laughs> Whipped Cream. I always forget the whipped cream. Okay, Chocolate Cake Dessert Pancakes with Peppermint Whipped Cream and it's all vegan so we're going to make some buttermilk. So the first thing we're going to do is get our milk, which is going to be, uh, in this case, we're going to use coconut milk. And we need two cups. So, so two cups we got here. And you can use any milk, but we found that this coconut milk works really well for this type of a dessert cake, pancake. So here's our two cups of milk. And to make the buttermilk, we need to add some vinegar or lemon juice. And we just chose apple cider vinegar because it's easy. So with this, we need two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. And this is going to curdle our milk and make it buttermilk. And we're going to let this sit while we mix up our dry ingredients. So just stir this in real quick. Usually you want to use like a wooden spoon, but I didn't grab that, so we're going to use this one instead. Alright, so there's the buttermilk. I'm just going to stick it over here. Alright, now we are going to do our dry ingredients. So, you want to sift these in so it's a nice, clean mixture. And so we're going to do two cups of our kamut, which is right here. And we just ground this so it's nice and fresh. Fresh is always best when you can. So this is going to be two cups of Kamut. Woo, that's a lot of Kamut. <laughs> um, we'll just improvise and, and we'll put a little bit back. How about that? Because we're real here. We're real people. And we are not perfect by any means. We make mistakes every day. And we own them. So I'm owning that one. So I'm just going to sift this in. And I'm going to add in my baking powder and my soda before I empty all that into that bowl. And that is two teaspoons of baking powder. This recipe, by the way, um, was done by my daughter and she should be explaining how to make these but she's filming so she can't be two places at once so I'm making them. That's why I'm paying attention to the chalkboard behind me because I don't know her recipe very well. Alright we're gonna add salt because she loves sea salt and this is going to be a quarter teaspoon of sea salt Cocoa next. So two thirds cup of cocoa. Let's see how I can do this gracefully. There's a little over a third. There we go. Two thirds cup of cocoa. All right. All right. So now we're gonna put this in. Looks so pretty. And if you make this and you don't want to make pancakes, you can put this into a cake pan and make a cake with it. And it's the best vegan chocolate cake you'll ever eat, I promise. So will your non-vegan friends, they'll think the same thing. Alright, so, can you tell I didn't practice? We need to add in our wet ingredients. So we've got our buttermilk and now we have two-thirds of a cup of applesauce. And you can use jarred applesauce or you can just make it. We just made it because we don't have jarred applesauce right now. So that's two thirds of a cup. And we need vanilla, which is going to be two teaspoons. And you want to try to use the real vanilla because that fake stuff, I don't really know what they put in it, but it can't be good. 
So this is real vanilla extract. And we also need sugar. Sugar. <laughs> and this is sucanut. If you've watched us before, you know that we don't use a lot of white sugar. And this is uh, natural sugar cane, and it's actually good for you. And so we don't feel guilty when we eat it. And we're going to do a half a cup of this stuff. So. It can get a little pricey. So if you can join a co-op and uh, buy the stuff in bulk, it'll save you lots of money. All right. So we have all of our dry ingredients, or our wet, wet ingredients here. It's going to mix these together. All right, it's going to mix this wet mixture into this dry mixture. This really is the recipe that we use to make cake on um, party days, and you can put this in muff a muffin tin to make, you know, cupcakes. And you just bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes if you want to make cupcakes. And someday we'll teach you how to make our vegan buttermilk buttercream frosting, which would be really yummy. It's not on a pancake day. All right, so this is done, and now we're gonna go cook them on our pancake grill. since we're coming up on the holidays and um, chocolate and mint go really well together. So um, to make a vegan whipped cream, what you want to do is take a can of coconut milk and put it in the freezer uh, for about 15 minutes. And this will solidify the fat inside so that when you open it up, you're going to scoop out um, the fat content and leave the liquid. If you happen to get a can that is not solidifying very well, you can go ahead and dump the whole can into your bowl and uh, whip it until it gets lots of air in it and then you can add a little bit of um, tapioca flour. That works. So, um, and also with canned goods you want to make sure you use a canned good that doesn't um, package their products using um, BPA free. <laughs> okay. So this is um, a preservative and it's really bad for you and you wouldn't want to give it to your kids. So a good way to um, find out if your can is BPA free is to either look at the label uh, or if they don't put it on the label, you can always um, look, on, look online or you can just look on the can here. And um, on the lid, once you open it, if it is a white color around the rim, uh, they use BPA. And if it's a golden color or yellow, they do not use BPA. So. This particular brand is a really good brand. They do not use BPA, so that was a lot. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add the fat in to our bowl here. So, try not to get any of the liquid. So we're just gonna get this thick part here. And 
that's about all we've got for this can. And the rest of this we can just use for a different recipe or a smoothie or whatever you need for coconut. This over here. And now we need to add our peppermint in. And you just want to add maybe like a quarter teaspoon. You don't want to light anybody's mouth on fire. And that's all we need. And now we're just going to whip it up with our beaters here. subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you make your pancakes and uh, if you could shoot a picture of them that would be great <laughs> hashtag TPC chocolate mint pancakes and someday I'll get that right anyhow go ahead and do that and you can post it on Twitter and Instagram and we hope to see your pictures there thanks a lot and we'll see you next week so that they can watch us too, if you want. That was bad.